Sympathy clearly has its limits. And a big one? Asking someone to help you break the law. Do you guys have a car? Uh, we're waiting for a car. So apparently helping people extends to thieves. That's good to know. I just, I just need you to hold this for two seconds. I just have to uh, open my car up. Can you, can you put it in the back? I just stole it, so I just need you to hurry up. Chop, chop. They're coming for me, just get it. Can you just get it in the back for me, please? How dumb of an art stealer guy do you need to be to just come up to some random people while you're holding the paintings and go, hey man, can you give me a ride? Can you give me a ride? The cops are on me. Can you give me a ride? I just need you to hold this real quick for me. I just stole it. Here, just please hold one, just hold it for one second. No, no, I'm not, I, I, no, I just need you guys to help me. Put this in my car. The people here are an example of boundaries that cannot be crossed because the information is not worthy of sympathy. The emotional state is sympathetic, but the information makes him profoundly unsympathetic. Please, I... You need to leave me alone, no. There are only two steps to being a successful burglar. One, grab object. Ma'am, please, I'm begging you. You need to leave me alone before I go on. Two, get away. He doesn't have 50% of the plan down. Can you help me get this painting in here? Why do you need me to help you? I just, because I just stole it. Here, I just need to get it in the back. What? Here. Uh -oh. No yeah, way, here. Come on! No hey, you touched it. You're an accomplice now! Come on! I need your help!